Who let the cats out? Man, man, mountain and Ling. Who let the cats out? The one, the only, the man, Mountain Link. We've got a cute little tabletop furnace here. Uh, with this itty bitty crucible. And it's got a lot of. show you here. Whoops. Don't drop it and mess everything up. It's got some silver sprues. And it's got a little silver pyramid that uh, I used this pyramid mold to pour what was left. And there was never intended to be a pyramid. Just a way to store the extra silver from the last pour. And as you can tell, I've already done the the preheating ritual. You gotta when you first buy it, you gotta run it to 1,200 degrees five minutes, 1700 degrees, five minutes, and then 2100 degrees for five minutes, or until it stops smoking. I run mine for 10 minutes at 2100 degrees, and it was still smoking just a little bit, but uh, I mean, good goodness, I had to had to turn it off eventually, so hopefully it'll work. We, we're working on a little battle axe here, and we're going to see if we can't cast one in triple nine fine silver. We'll be back at you in a minute. See Keevan? That's what happens when I try to do a push through. You see it makes its own funnel but God bless America that's a Grand Canyon. That's horrible. I don't know if that's going to work or not. We're going to try it because we're lazy first uh, silver pour with the new teeny tiny furnace battle axe and uh, droid if I can handle anything in these gloves we're going to try to get the droid out first still still kind of warm I'm not seeing a lot of detail. That might be a loser. I poured it second, so maybe it wasn't warm enough. Uh, the metal was melted. I put it in there and it was in for um, 13 minutes and it was melted. So I went ahead and poured it. Seems, seems quick, but that's the reason I bought a quick melt because I wanted it to melt quick oddly enough nothing garbage oh well two fells doesn't bode well for the new furnace dun 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 we're going to try to do something simple we need a win so we're going to try to do something that we've had success with before. See how it turns out. Well, that's what we got. Uh, it's not perfect. The flag, the stars could have more definition. But uh, it's good enough. I think it'll clean up pretty good. The smaller sprue worked. I was able to cut through it with uh, normal side cutters instead of having to use industrial size and leaving a, a big knob to have to sand off. The sprue is still red hot, so I'm not going to touch it, but you can see it's smaller. Use this instead of the big one. So that one. That much of a difference. So, yeah, what I did to get it to work was I heated it up uh, 25 degrees more, so 21, 25, and I heated it up for you know like four minutes more, maybe five minutes more than it was. 
on this particular model that turned out to be uh, 20 minutes. It took 15 minutes to melt it, but it didn't pour right, so I gave it 20 minutes and 25 more degrees, and I just bumped it up to 25 degrees there at the last five minutes. I didn't set it at 21, 25, I set it at 21. And then with five minutes to go, I bumped it up 21, 25, and five minutes later I poured. So, and it worked. I don't know if it worked as well as it could have. I mean, I see stars, but they're not like stars, you know. But that could have been me. That, that could have been the fact that I didn't make the pattern, uh, make the mold all that well. But uh, either way, it'll probably look a lot better after tumbling. And I'm rambling, so I want to thank you for watching and let you get back to your day.